Hi all, this is Papaya with Papaya Pythons. I'm going to share some footage with you guys of snakes eating prey animals. So this is Nova and she's trying to eat a small rat. The rat is dead and she is working her jaw across its head and the hardest part for a snake to swallow is before the shoulders because that's the broadest part of the prey animal. And we know that snakes don't have hands like we do and they don't chew their food like we do. So their jaw is a very different structure than ours since it has such a different function. Now you can see her kind of walking along the rat with her jaw. It almost looks like it's taking one step on the left and then one step on the right. And that's actually pretty accurate. So the snake has a lot of developed muscles and ligaments and tendons that we don't have in order to push different parts of their jaw forward along the prey. And their teeth are very, very small and very, very fragile, and they just act to push the food farther down and to get a better grip for this sort of walking action. So unlike our jaw, their jaw has a separation at the front in the mandible. So that'd be like if I had a slice in between my front teeth on both my bottom and upper jaw. This allows that walking motion to work better for her. Now she doesn't just have that, she also has a whole extra bone in her jaw that we have in our inner ear. So let's take a look inside. So if we look at the skeleton, just the very basics of the jaw, we have two bones on the bottom, the dentary and the articular, and then one on the top and a tiny little remnant one also, the quadrate and the squamosal. So the articular and the quadrate are what make the major joint in the snake's jaw. This joint allows them to open their mouths far wider than our jaw opens, and it also has more play from side to side than our jaw offers. Since our jaws have such very different purposes, it makes sense that these would differ. There are a lot of other bones that differ too, but we'll go over those in another video at another time. Let's not get in over our heads, right? The cool part about the inner ear of the snake is that it has a stapes and an eardrum, just like our ear, but our ear is modified to hear more and better because the snake doesn't actually use its hearing as much as we do. So when we look at the human jaw, we see the same mandible or dentary, and then a part of our temporal bone is the squamosal, which is sort of that bridge that goes across from your eye to your ear. But if you zoom in on the inside of the ear, you can see that we actually have three bones in our ear. The malleus, which is the articular, the incus, which is the quadrate, and the stapes. So these two extra bones in our ear allow us to have much more precise hearing and a much more diverse range of hearing than the snakes do, but it means that our jaw doesn't have the opening capability that theirs does. So hopefully, when we look at these guys together, you can appreciate how evolution has acted upon these different animals in order to make them more fit for both of their respective environments. By using and fusing different bones for different things, snakes are able to eat large prey animals without chewing, while humans are able to eat complex diets with lots and lots of chewing to pre-process for our digestive system. This is a pretty cool example of comparative vertebrate anatomy, and we hope that you enjoyed it. But if you didn't, hold on, because we still have more videos of snakes swallowing big things. Meanwhile, Nova's still trying to swallow that rat. Now remember, we sped up this footage so that you would get a better feel for how she was moving her jaw along the rat's body in order to move it into her mouth. And you can see she's making quite a bit of progress, although she did decide that she wasn't really playing for the camera, so you don't get to see quite all of it. Um, but we'll give you a taste of what it's like if you don't speed this up, because it does take much, much longer to watch a snake swallow a prey animal. After all, five minutes have passed just in her trying to eat this alone. And this is going to feel like slow motion. And then this is our little gal Tony, who is swallowing a rat pup that was also dead and the whole thing is in 20x high speed. And you can see how she works that jaw little by little, side to side, and how it sort of splays out in the front because it's not connected as her skin and her scales stretch to accommodate the prey animal. And that once she's got those shoulders in, it's all smooth sailing to finish swallowing. For more geeky videos like this, follow us. And we hope you guys are having a great breeding season. Thanks, all.